1978, Azarb came to the United States for an education. She planned to return to her native Iran, but political upheaval in that nation denied that. So Azara Muslim remained in America and worked very hard to be successful. When you have to make it in another country, I think that even added to the uh, focus that you have to make it and be somebody. Azar worked as hard to be a good Muslim as she did to be a financial planner. She believed her good deeds would earn her a place in heaven. But after years of ceremonial washing and prayers five times a day, she grew tired of the routine. And all of a sudden I realized I'm standing here covered the way I have covered, and I'm saying something that I don't know what I'm saying, and, and I'm talking to God. And I felt like, this can't be it. This can't be what God wants from me. For 21 years, Azar had little to do with her Islamic faith. Then some Iranian friends invited her to a meeting. And honestly, I had never heard there is an Iranian that they used to be Muslim, now they're Christian. I was like, what? Still, Azar was intrigued and agreed to meet these people. For the first time, I saw some other Iranians that they were, um, they were Muslim. They used to be Muslim, now they're Christian. And, and they were singing to God and worshiping. And I thought, wow, that is so interesting that they are just so free. But more than that, Azar was dissatisfied with her life. Even though she had all the trappings of success, something was missing. I was working six, seven days a week because I was so driven. And then you start having this issue of what is the purpose? Azar thought about the Christian meeting she attended. Soon she went to another to find out more. There she listened intently to what was being said. He basically said, well, who here knows that they will go to heaven? Well, as a Muslim, you don't know if you go to heaven or not because you know, God is going to review your past, and then it depends on how good you've done. Then he decides, but still, I wouldn't know. So a few people went like this, they raised their hand, and I thought, like, how do you know? What Azar heard was the salvation message of the cross. She didn't understand and wanted an explanation. So after it was finished, I went to him, and I said, uh, what do you mean that Jesus died for me? I wasn't even there. You know, he died for my sin. Why would he die for my sin? I died for my sin. Again and again, she begged God to show her the truth. And one day I was just out of blue. I turned the TV on and I don't even know why it was on 700 Club. I was, it wasn't one of those things I watch every day. And as soon as I turned it on, Gordon's face was right on the whole screen. They had covered the whole screen. And it just, he, it's on and he said, some of you are so confused, you don't know who the real God is. As Gordon prayed, Azar listened closely. Lord, I ask again, if you're real, show me. And I thought like, wow. I don't even know if I turned the TV off, but I didn't hear anything else after that because it was what I was looking for. I was just asking why, why, why? As the days passed, Azar focused her thoughts on God. Again, the Iranian Christians invited her to meet with them. They encouraged her to read the Bible, and Azar began to experience God in a new way. There is something about this Christianity Something is different. I didn't know anything about Holy Spirit. I had never opened the Bible. I didn't know anything. But it felt so strong, and I thought, like, this is, there is something different, something different about me. The next day, Azar went to church. She couldn't wait to get there. But this time, she came face to face with the truth. And I started talking to God, and I said, okay, God, I don't have any reason to change. I was Muslim and you were good to me. I have no reason to change. But if you have any reason, you show me a sign. I saw a person right in front of me and his face is right where my face is and I can see his whole body. And gradually he opened his eyes and started looking at me and there were just like two little suns got brighter and brighter and brighter and started shining in my face. She recognized that the person she saw was Jesus and prayed to accept him as her Lord and Savior. 
And I felt the way I never felt before. I feel like probably tons of tons of weight was off my shoulder. I was so light and so happy. Through her faith in Jesus Christ, Azar has found purpose in life. Since then, she's been involved in her church and serves in a South Florida jail ministry. Today, she glows as she speaks because she knows the truth that set her free. <sighs> it's just incredible. It's just incredible. See, before I was trying to do it on my own, I tried so hard, you know, to please God, to be good, and, uh, um, I, and I didn't know I go to heaven. But now it is Him that came down. Jesus came down for me. And I am, thank God, not the same person I was before. 